I'm using a KV motor for to power the system. Um, I'm going to be using zigzag latches to overlap. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be putting applying coil embeddings. The first thing I'm going to do it in this type to put bolts, apply bolts, nuts and bolts. So these are temporary settings and with lock nuts. And I'm going to transfer it to convert it to aluminum and titanium. Um, I'm also going to be applying the for the holes. I'm going to be applying the winding coils and using. Uh, uh, wax paper or wax sheet I uh, use it to overlay to not touch the conductor or the uh, titanium and apply it for electromagnet and, uh, motor and it's gonna have the lake zigzag latch to move the aluminum uh, armor that I'm gonna have coupled to the titanium It's like the Mark 42 uh, chest plate. I'm not finished. I have a lot more to do. And this is just the previous setting. Um, I have to do the bottom and apply the bottom right here and the top. And all the parts in a second. Our motor, this is a uh, 5010. And it's a uh, 10 with using, I believe it's 750 kilovolts. And it usually powers, uh, powered it by a 10, uh, 10 inch propeller. We're using right now a two inch. I'm going to be changing this to a metalloid, and uh, I'll be back soon. I have uh, three volt lithium coin batteries, and these are rechargeable. Now I have the adapters, and I'm going to connect it to it. They have the uh, escape motors, the escape uh, drivers, and for the motor. I put on the scissoring for the wall part, and uh, still got an extra ring. Like, got the bearings in the center for the other batteries that are going to localize on here. So I'm going to be <clears throat> coupling another frame with. That's about a hundred, so there's about five a pack, so I don't know. So I'll probably use either 50 <laughs> and it makes segments and parts just batteries themselves with a metallic bond. Uh, have a nice day.